anything, combination of numbers or constants and operations. Numerical expressions do not have an equal sign. For this exercise, we're going to write expressions. We don't want to evaluate or solve them just yet. Two more than three. If I tell you to write an expression that's two more than three, we are just going to write two plus three. More than meaning plus. Now, I know the answer is five, but the trick with operations is don't answer it. Just write two plus three. Similarly, two less than three. I know less than means minus. But here's the trick. If I'm two years younger than you, that means I take your age and minus it. Some of you might be tempted to do two minus three. That is incorrect. Because less than three means I'm starting with three. I have two less than that. That is three minus two. Once again, I don't care if the answer is one. Not for this exercise. Next, we're going to talk about grouping symbols. Two more than we know is plus. The product of three and two. Product means multiplication. Although the order operations does say multiplication comes first, I am still going to put three times two in parentheses. This shows me that comes first. So for example, let me change up the problem just a bit. If I were to do something like the product of two and the sum of three and two, then that would be a game changer and I would have to use parentheses two times three plus two because the sum of three and two. This is indicating I have to add three plus two first. If not for these parentheses, I would have to do the multiplication first. By the way, I could just get rid of that time sign. This is called the ghost sign. There's an invisible multiplication sign here. This means do three plus two first, then multiply it. Or we could use the distributive property, but let's not worry about that yet. Finally, remember this from last week. Reese had six chocolate bars. He gave each friend three quarters of chocolate bar. So when you give each person three quarters, that's not subtraction because I'm repeating the subtraction. I am breaking off three quarters. That sounds like a division problem to me. For that, I need to go insert equation. Let's do it this way. Six, here's a division sign, and I'm going to add a fraction. Six divided by three quarters. That is how we do the division. Okay, now we are ready to move on.